Hi friends, welcome to another video of Big Tech Talk. In today's video, I will try to download data from Elasticsearch using Apache Spark. So let's get started. Let's go to Kibana UI and see what all index we have and see what is the count of records in each index. To do so, go to DevTools and execute the first query that is get underscore cat slash indices. As you can see, movies rating spark has the maximum count that is 41432. So I will be using movies rating spark index in my Scala code. So let's have a look to the Scala code. This is my actual Scala code. It starts with a package name followed by few imports. Then I have created an object with the name as pull data from Elasticsearch, which contains my main function. The first thing which I have done is to set the logger level as error. That is, I don't want to see info or warning messages in my logs. Then comes the Spark session. A Spark session is used to set the session object with the app name as ELK data and the master as local. You can change it to yarn if you are willing to run this code on a Hadoop cluster. This piece of code will connect to Elasticsearch for a given host and port and returns a data frame reader object. It says read the data in the format of Spark SQL with the Cairo serializer from the port 9200 and the host is localhost, which is my Elasticsearch host. Cairo serializer is not only used for shuffling data between worker nodes, but also when serializing RDD to the disk. Now, from the data frame reader object, I want to load data for a specific index. So, I have used reader.load with the index name that is movies rating spark and the document type as DOC. This piece of code gives me the count in my data frame that is df.count. And then the most important code which will actually write the data to our file system. I don't have Hadoop installed so I will be writing it on my Windows local disk. So the code says write the data in the format of CSV with the header as true and the save mode as overwrite. That is, if the file is already present, just replace the file and save that to this location. And the last statement which says the job is successfully completed. So to execute it, right click over here, go to run as and click on Scala application. Okay, as you can see, my execution is completed. Let's go and see the data in our local file system. This is my output directory. I will go inside this and open my part 00 file. Right click on it and open with notepad++. You can see it has a header. Just scroll down, it has 41433 records. If you remove the header, this count is exactly the same what we are getting from the Elasticsearch. So friends, we are done with today's video. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Do hit the like button and subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.